Curiosity Kids, do you know what matter is? Let's go see what we can discover about gases. Matter is everything that has weight and takes up space. Everything is made of matter, whether it's a solid, liquid, or gas. Matter is made up of pieces of whatever type of matter it is. For example, let's look at this teacup. It's matter. If I take a hammer and break it into pieces, it's still the same type of matter. It's still a teacup, just in smaller pieces. If we continue dividing these pieces of matter into the smallest pieces possible, called particles, these pieces would be extremely tiny, too small to see with your eyes, a magnifying glass, or even a microscope. Even though we can't see these particles, we know they are there because how these particles move and interact with each other explains what makes matter a gas. Matter that is gas is called gaseous matter. All gaseous matter has three properties. Gaseous matter has no fixed size or shape. The tiny particles that make up gaseous matter are loose and spread out to fill whatever space is available. Gaseous matter can be squished or compressed. And gaseous matter, when added to a container, fills whatever the size of the container is and takes the shape of the container it is put in. Let's look at my teacup. It is solid matter, but the steam rising from the teacup is a gas. If the steam from my three identical cups of tea flows into three different shaped containers, does the steam take the shape of the new container? Yes. Gases change their shape. The tiny particles just shift their positions within the shape of the container. The gas can change into any shape. Does the steam fill the containers? Yes. The steam fits various sizes of containers because the steam particles can compress closer to each other. As the containers get smaller or larger, the steam particles just get closer together or further apart. These properties are true for air, steam, helium, which makes balloons float, and for many other things. They are all gas. Do you know that the same particles of matter can change from one state to another? Let's see how this happens. Put on your thinking cap. Is water a solid, liquid, or gas? It's all three. When we think of water, we might picture water to drink, a river flowing, or a swimming pool for us to play in. This is water as a liquid, but what if water gets cold? It freezes and becomes ice. Ice is just the solid form of water. You see, water as a solid all the time, as snow, icebergs, or as ice cubes floating in your drink. But what happens if water gets hot? It turns into water vapor. Remember that steam coming off of the tea? That was water vapor. We can also see water vapor coming out of geysers or drifting above the ground as fog. Water vapor is water as a gas. So water can be a solid, liquid, or gas. No matter what state the particles are in, it's still just water. If you want to learn more about states of matter, just head to the museum website at statemuseumpa.org and look for our virtual learning page to find out more about solids, liquids, and gases. Join me again next time to discover something else I'm curious about. Thanks for tuning in.